I'm Caleb, and this is the presentation for Mining Persistent Activity in Continually Evolving Networks. This is joint work with Shin Zhang and my advisor, Denai Kutra. Frequent pattern mining is a key area of study that gives insights into the structure and dynamics of evolving networks, such as social or road networks. However, not only does a network evolve, but often the way that it evolves itself evolves. Some patterns may have a large number of occurrences, but only last for a short time, making a bursty anomaly falsely appear to be an intrinsic characteristic of a dynamic network. At the same time, there may be important activity in the network that has low overall frequency, but that occurs continually and regularly, such as commute routes or a stealthy computer network attack. Thus, in addition to patterns frequencies, understanding for how long and how regularly they have occurred, in other words, their persistence, can add to our understanding of evolving networks. In this work, we look at mining activity that persists through time in continually evolving networks. We extend the notion of temporal motifs to capture pairwise and higher order activity among specific nodes in what we call activity snippets, which are small sequences of edge updates that reoccur. We propose the following problem. Given a network that continually evolves via an edge stream, measure the persistence of each activity snippet. In other words, for how long, how often, and how regularly it has occurred. For example, for this activity snippet, we seek to measure its persistence in the specified measurement interval. To solve this problem, analogously to how the axioms of a distance metric specify the properties that any measure of distance ought to follow, we introduce axioms that a measure of persistence needs to follow. We develop one such persistence measure and propose offline and online algorithms to measure persistence in evolving networks, whether they be timestamp sequences of edges from the past or real-time edge streams. We then perform extensive experiments on real data to demonstrate the insights that measuring persistence can provide. Network motifs, which are small, frequent subgraph patterns, have been effective tools for understanding the higher order structure and dynamics of networks. Temporal motifs extend static motifs to evolving networks by adding an ordering to their edges, and have been studied within and across a wide range of networks. However, these works, as well as the rich body of literature on frequent subgraph mining, focuses on the frequency of subgraphs, not their persistence. Motivated by scenarios of stealthy click fraud or distributed denial of service attacks, Persistent item mining in data streams has been proposed by a simple heuristic definition of persistence, but we show that this simple definition violates intuitive desired properties of persistence. In the context of networks, persistent community detection attempts to find communities that last. That is, they remain connected for long durations of time. However, we focus on snippets of activity that persistently reoccur. We discuss the theory of persistence first, followed by our offline and streaming methods, and conclude with the discussion of experiments. We first define activity snippets. An activity snippet describes a sequence of activity, or edge updates, among connected nodes in a network. The edge updates need not be contiguous, but they are temporally ordered. A view function may optionally be applied to the edge updates to replace the node IDs with their labels or their position in the snippet. If the node IDs are not replaced, the snippet is an exact sequence of activity. If they are replaced by their position in the sequence, then the snippet is analogous to temporal motifs, but also capture edge deletions. The snippet has a duration given by the amount of time between the first and last updates in the snippet. It also has a size equal to the number of edge updates in the snippet. The parameters delta max and k max allow these to be controlled based on a practitioner's needs. Two intervals are important. The first is the interval of measurement, which is the interval of time where we are measuring persistence. The second is the occurrence interval, which is defined with respect to a specific activity snippet and defines the interval where occurrences fall. The theory that follows applies directly to any type of temporal event even outside the context of networks, but we focus on its application to continually evolving networks. The first axiom of persistence states that persistence should be zero if and only if there are zero occurrences. 
Second, as the interval becomes infinitely filled with unique occurrences, persistence should tend to infinity. Third, shifting all occurrences should not affect persistence. Fourth, shrinking the interval of measurement should lead to higher persistence. In addition to these four axioms, it is desirable that the persistence measure also have a few properties. First of all, if two snippets each have n unique occurrences that are uniformly spaced out, but the second snippet has occurrences spread over a wider interval, then that snippet ought to have higher persistence. If two snippets have unique uniformly spaced occurrences spread out over the same interval, but the second snippet has more occurrences, then it ought to have higher persistence. The maximum persistence of any snippet with n unique occurrences in a fixed interval ought to be achieved when those occurrences are uniformly spaced out over the interval. To measure persistence, we propose a function that combines the width of the interval in which the occurrences fall, the number of occurrences, and how uniformly those occurrences are spread out. We measure the uniformity of occurrences in a principled way by using the Shannon entropy of the distribution of gaps between occurrences. Entropy, when normalized, captures uniformity of occurrences, such that low entropy means the occurrences are densely packed, and high entropy means they are evenly spaced. Our proposed persistence measure combines these three terms via multiplication and uses exponents on each term to allow them to be weighted depending on the application. We prove that the proposed function satisfies all the axioms of a persistence measure and the desired properties. We next discuss our method penminer, which has an offline variant, openminer, for measuring the persistence of activity snippets in time-stamped sequences of edges from the past, and a streaming variant for maintaining the persistence of activity in edge streams. In this presentation, we focus on spenminer. When a new snippet arrives in the stream, we need to update its persistence. To do so, we record in memory the first and last occurrence of each snippet, as well as the total number of occurrences thus far. This allows the width and frequency terms of persistence to be directly computed. To compute spread, we show that entropy can be computed incrementally, without needing to store all the gaps between occurrences. Since storing persistence already requires a constant amount of memory for each snippet, this theorem means that persistence can be maintained with no additional asymptotic memory overhead and in constant time. We next discuss experiments, which focus on these three research questions. The real-world networks we analyze include traffic networks, which encode in-route traffic traveling from some point A to some other point B in a road network. Specifically, we use bike networks in Boston, Massachusetts, Chicago, Illinois, and Columbus, Ohio, as well as a taxi network in New York City. We also analyze social networks, which capture interactions on social media, specifically Reddit and Stack Overflow. The key tool for our analysis is the relationship between frequency and persistence, which we capture in a persistence versus frequency or PDF plot. For example, in Stack Overflow, which captures users commenting on answers, commenting on questions, and answering questions, persistent activity tends to correspond to users commenting on their own answers. Bursty activity, which falls in the upper left of PDF plots, in this case reveals two users who had 36 back and forths in just one hour and subtly persistent activity, which falls in the lower right of PVF plots, in this case reveals a user who regularly answered the same user's questions. By studying PVF plots for generic users rather than specific ones and coloring snippets by the type of activity they encode, we find that some snippets, examples shown here, when carried out for different interaction types, fall in unique locations. Comments on questions tend to be the most bursty, while answers to questions are more persistent. Zooming in reveals that all these interactions target one user and involve at least two distinct users. This suggests that a comment on a question triggers a flurry of comments on it, but once the question is answered, these tend to die out. 
On the other hand, comments on answers persist because new users may have some the same question and have follow-up questions even months after the original question has been answered. When analyzing taxi traffic in New York City for the two weeks surrounding Hurricane Sandy, we discovered that bursty snippets reveal neighborhoods that were brought to a standstill during the hurricane, while subtly persistent snippets reveal neighborhoods where taxi traffic persisted through it. In bike networks, we find that the most persistent snippets are often reasonable commute routes, such as in Boston, where the most persistent trip is from Massachusetts Avenue in front of MIT up the street to outside the central subway station. This is a reasonable route for commuters to ride bikes from MIT to the subway. Bursty snippets allowed us to discover the opening of new popular bike stations in both Boston and Columbus. We also show that we can make similar insights in real time, discovering a mysterious taxi trip taken every day from Queens, New York to near the UN building right around midnight and repeated every night for over two months. Penn Miner, when employed for anomaly detection, flags each occurrence of the trip, and the alarm gets stronger as the trip is repeated. Beyond just subtly persistent anomalies, Penn Miner can also flag bursts of activity in real time, such as the subreddit r slash nightly pick referencing r slash hockey in bursts corresponding to hockey seasons, presumably picking winners for each night's hockey game. Each returning hockey season leads to a decrease in anomalousness. To demonstrate the promise of PenMiner for anomaly detection, we evaluate it quantitative, quantitatively at finding subtly anomalous bike trips in Chicago, Illinois, and bursty network attacks in an IP network. To use PenMiner for anomaly detection, we generate for each activity snippet a point in an evolving PVF plot with frequency as one dimension of the point and persistence as the other. To identify anomalies in real time, in other words, outliers in the PVF plot, any streaming anomaly detection can be used. We chose the random cut forest method. S Penminer outperforms all baselines at the new task of finding subtle anomalies and performs competitively at finding bursty anomalies against baselines designed specifically for that task. In addition to finding interesting activity networks and showing promise for anomaly detection, over pr various parameter settings, S Penminer processes edges in each stream 10,000 to 360,000 times faster than the rate of the corresponding stream. And O Penminer scales linearly with the size of an evolving network. In conclusion, we propose mining persistent activity in continually evolving networks. Our main contributions are a principal definition of persistence, an offline and online algorithm for mining persistence in continually evolving networks, and extensive experiments on evolving networks. Thank you.